Happy Sunday morning from Area 51 Raceway. I'm here with Mitzi. We're going to talk about uh, positioning the guide, installing your guide on your slot car. Come join us. So hello there from Area 51 Raceway. So I'm going to do a video here on guide um, height installment. Uh, Harry has done it on his videos for the flock build. You know, he's explained there's some different ways you could do it. And, um, you know, you could do it like this, do it like that. Uh, but the problem we run into is if you do it a certain way to where you start having to stack shims, then you tend to introduce slop into your guide. Here's an example of one of the early builds that I used to do was, as you can see this one right here, how many shims I have stacked there. And that is because when I put this guide uh, tongue on, I put it just a little bit higher than the chassis here. And I wasn't really sure of my tire height, didn't really think about that. And you can see how high this is stacked up. That's a uh, two, uh, I think those are total of 60 thousandths right there that's a lot of height the car works it does fine it'll run on the track it won't give you any problems this was the one I sent to Harry that had the Nova body I put some moons on here uh, not too long ago so but I just want to show you an example of this right here so now we're gonna get to the guide part um, and there was some questions asked on the uh, a, uh, a Facebook thread about guide placement and I put a few videos and when I did on a, you know my car and stuff like that so this is the uh, this is for the purple Pontiac that I painted uh, I had the luxury of having an extra body because I had two kits that's why I made the body first I generally build the chassis around the body first but since I have an extra body I could kind of do the chassis the excuse me the body first and paint it and kind of do all that and kind of do that first and then I could put my car on and you know so forth this is just I could build the chassis now actually because uh, I have an extra body I could build it after I do the body <laughs> I usually do the chassis first and then the body basically so the new tongue guides from uh, slot car corner are excellent now as you can see I bend this and uh, it fits perfectly in between here but the problem I have with this is that when I put the body on the guide is going to be sticking out just a little and we don't want that on the car we want to be able to have it you know tucked into the car not protruding out so this would protrude out a little if I did this as you can see here let me show you and that would stick out a little and we don't want that so no big deal I could use this for something else but these tongue guides are really nice now I have the skinnier ones and so what I did was I bend this one also and what I plan on doing is putting it behind here and soldering it. Now you can see it's well within inside the car. Even if I have a guide in it, it's not going to be, you know, an issue. And I will show you that. I'm going to put the guide here. And this is a guide, an extra guide I had lying around. And I uh, glued the braids on here so they don't go anywhere and, you know, flop around. And basically what you have here and uh, width for the guide and the brushes is about 4.60 or 4.0, you know, 4.60 rounded off. That's usually it's 4.60 millimeters. That's usually about your standard, you know, commercial guide. Now, if you go to the other type, it's going to be a lot, you know, thinner. So you have to compensate for that when you put your guide in. So that's what I'm working with right there. So I have this on my, uh, my uh, setup block here. And basically what I'm doing is this and as you can see let me get this in here you can see that I'm well within being inside the car and not having to worry about 
this sticking out way over here it's tucked in the car once I get this soldered up and on there and I'm gonna have obviously the front grill come out so it's gonna cover it up that's perfect and then what you're gonna do is make sure that your body is excuse me your chassis level of course when you're building your chassis and this the, the height of the guide tongue dictates on the on the uh, the uh, height of the tire and everything and that's real important now if I had like a lower profile file tires then this would drop the chassis lower and then I would have to set this up a little bit higher because if I have it too low it would pick up the front end like that and then you'd be you know unsoldering everything but this is what I generally do is kind of do this make sure my chassis is nice and level gosh I'm off camera here forgive me make sure my chassis is nice and level just like this one is and this is a rail job chassis that um, Harry did on his flock build and I call it a rail job it's just a nickname for it and I ran the wire all the way back through here so it's got a little flex in it and then I put to hold the axle with these pieces of wire here and solder this all together I'm going to chop this off and I got myself a chassis and I'm going to put some body mounts over here and over here and we'll you know some strips and we'll get it all mounted up so now that we have what we're looking at and uh, what we want to do we're saying 4.60 millimeters we're gonna we'll put these uh, we'll put this back on our you know on our block and solder it in place and that's all you're gonna do you're gonna solder it in place and what you could do is uh, get this all put on the block and then solder it on and I'll show you that in just a moment all right, here we go we have our uh, guide set up where I want it and I measured it uh, twice to make sure it's right in the center and it's about exactly where it should be I see the black line now now you see I have two pieces of popsicle stick there and believe it or not remember we measured this guide and it was uh, the thickness of the guide it was four six one four six two millimeters I'll give it you know around about there right just as we see right there believe it or not two popsicle sticks stuck together is about 4.61 <laughs> so and I just thought of looking at popsicle sticks so they do come in handy not only for doing bodies but for doing guides and I discovered this on my own so that's generally about the round thickness of this so I mean you're in the ballpark when you when you have these two pieces of popsicle sticks and I drilled two tiny holes to put my brad nail in there and now I got the height set where I want it to because that's where I want it to be at because that's the wheels are touching and then if I need to add shims to lift the wheels up after I true this I'll still you know I should have some giveaway there to to do this because I'm not going to true these down really really terribly I'm only going to true them down a little but what I can do is give them a little bit more height if I wanted to lift this up just a little bit but I'm going to leave it right there because I think I'll be fine there uh, I don't think I'll have an issue so I have it all lined up there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and solder this and uh, we'll get back to what it looks like when I have it done soldered Stay tuned. atomic batteries to power turbines to speed we have our guide mounted and as you can see perfect just where I want it now this may need to bend down a little or if you need to manipulate it you could do that if it's like pitched up or anything but from what I could see it's pretty spot on now when I was soldering it I gave myself an extra 20 thousandths uh, shims because I want to compensate for when I when I uh, true the tires which will drop it down so that gives me a little leeway so say I cut down like 10 or 15 thousandths then uh, this will lower the front and then it won't need much to lift it up and so I know it looks like it's a lot right there and there that gap but I'm not using this guide obviously but this is pretty generally what you want and again you're gonna you're going to trim your tires it's gonna take up something so if I put like uh, the 20 thousandths back I'm pretty much where I want to be right there and uh, that's perfect and again these of course I got these smushed up so the guides would be 
a little bit fluffier but I mean in general that's that's basically where I where I have it right now where I want it to be and I will put my nut here from this one on just to how would you say show if I could get it on Got a little trouble here there we go and I'll just spin this on which is pretty easy to do on because it's not this has been used quite a bit this little booger here so I don't know snug it up and you know obviously I have my like I said my braids tucked up but that's about it right there now obviously you're gonna give it a little looseness so it doesn't you know bind in your if you have your the guide that you're using so and there you have it there's where we're at right there and uh, that's pretty good and again the it'll fluff up a little and uh, these are going to get trued down because these aren't going to be the actual size of the tire. So I gave myself a little bit more room. Um, so if I have to shim up, you know, at least 40 thousandths, I mean, that's fine. I won't be too happy. But it isn't stacked like that one car I showed you in the beginning of the video. So, But that's how I set my guide. I uh, That's basically the whole thing. As you can see, I cut this down. I'll need to shave this down a little, clean it up. And I'll clean the chassis up and, uh, you know, get it... Uh, get it uh how would you say get ready for paint but I still have to mount the body pads on which I'll do later on when I get uh, the brass I need that I ordered so but that's uh, basically how I set my guide height and again it it all dictates the tire height too the tire height is what's going to tell you the height of what you're going to set your guide so remember if you're using a commercial guide believe it or not two popsicle sticks is four point six oh millimeters <laughs> which is the exact same thickness of this sucker right here as you can see and uh, lo and behold I you know this is the first time I discovered that so that's a little easy trick or you could find washers and stack them up like that too it's up to you whatever makes it easier for you there's a little small tool I can use for later on but um, that's it from Area 51 Raceway I hope you help you out with setting your guide height and uh, Again, there's other people have different ways of doing it. If you find something that's easier and more uh, uh, a better way, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. I always like to hear new ideas. I don't, you know, that's that's how we all learn from everyone else. So that's it from Mario 51 Raceway. As always, you take care and have fun racing.